Okay guys, welcome back. So today we are at the PT Cruiser. Now if you noticed in the last video, we had rotten rocker panels and quarters. This one is actually good. So we're gonna end up cutting a lot out of this. So first things first, let me show you. I can smell it. So obviously you just worked and it, yeah, it works. Gonna be sketchy. So we gotta actually get rid of that bee's nest. Whew. I wonder why, who put that there? That was in there last I, time. That's what I threw at it, remember? Uh, yeah. It missed, <laughs> just stand up here. Oh God. Don't burn the freaking vehicle down. Oh, there's a bee there. <laughs> work. Okay, so that got rid of the bees. Oh, hornets. The hornets. Oh, it's still. Wow, they're still coming out because it's smoking. The smoke will drive them away. Today's game plan after having that little bit of an adventure is we're cutting the rockers. That was a big one. <laughs> we're cutting the rockers from the front all the way back and we're going to take the quarter panels off as one and this should have a good under panel piece um i might see an issue with the under panel piece where's that sitting at what that rear tire on it is it yep so when it comes time we're gonna have to get them to move it yeah so we're gonna get set up guys we'll video along the way it's gonna be quite interesting but these quarters are mint with that oh what I need to do Jeff is tear out the seat and the stuff there so we can literally just cut through Look at one of them up on the top. yeah he's peed off so let's have some fun guys we have the roof off and the doors off we got a lot of this stuff off we've already started cutting as you can see for the inner so we need the inner of this quarter panel so the wheels are actually on the rockers and on the rear so we're gonna jack it up now, put them on the frame rail. That way we can end up uh, cutting the whole inner uh, rocker as we need. So you'll see here that you come down and they have it sitting here on the rocker. So we're gonna pick this up and slide it over. Okay, as you'll see, Jeff is cutting a hole to start off, so that way we can get the recip in there. So he's just gonna pull the carpet out. We can cut down. Here is the outside quarter panel. You got the rocker and quarter is right here. So we're just gonna cut above it. When it comes time, we'll just drill out the spot welds, which you guys will see in a different video. Now, I honestly see, say we will drill out the spot welds. More than likely, it will be Jeff drilling out the spot welds. It hurts, it's, it's a lot on my arm. I'm not gonna lie, so I can't really drill too much. Do you see the whole thing ship? <laughs> Lovely. So now I would go down and then we'll drill another hole down there once you get down. So I'd go straight down somewhere around here, stop, and then we'll drill a hole there to go that way. Oh, you're gonna bring it from the inside and just start? That, yeah, if that's the way, if it's easier. Whatever you can get at. It's a, that's a crappy thing about being a, a crap car. Like that seat will move, thank God, because it's non power, but the driver's side won't. Seems like that blade's cutting like nothing. Mm hmm. I can't believe how much that shifted and this is gonna be hilarious to see when it's done. There's gonna be like, last time we were here, there was a rolled truck that we pulled a lot of parts off of that LT motor. Actually check out that video up in the right hand corner. So it's gonna be less left over from this vehicle. And it's a PT, like buddy's gonna be like, why did you pull this out of a PT? <laughs> I didn't realize, that's not even the compass mirror. No? 
Not worth nothing though. No. Which is weird because this is fully loaded. Okay, you're on. So as you can see, we got the one side cut off and it's a big job. So the frame rail here gave us a lot of issues. We had to cut the rear trailing arm to the axle beam and then we undid it and got to it. But it's, it's one side. Now to do the same to the other side. That's not fun. I don't think that's supposed to do that. Nope. <laughs> God, it's... <laughs> the whole... It's flexing and I can watch it in the floor. <laughs> oh my God. This is gonna fold. Yeah. You have fun. <laughs> yeah, thanks. There's like no support left to this car. Uh. And somehow we gotta fit this on a Q5. Yeah, I hit him a bolt. Oh, of course. He should probably come a little more. Um, you want the drill? You want to come like this there? Hmm. Just so you know, you're buying supper. <laughs> I think that's well worth my deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now to get these on the Q4 or Q, Q5. <sighs> the joys. I can't believe the car's not folded. Okay, so unfortunately the GoPro died, so I did take a couple pictures, guys. We did get this apart. We're ready to get it on to the new PT Cruiser. We got to drill it all the spot welds, and we did stick it on a Q5. So don't lend me your car, because that is what I'll do. Make sure you check out these two videos right here, guys. We have the Civic truck, and we have one of the SRT. If that interests you, almost 500 horsepower, and what is going to be in the Civic truck. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll definitely catch you on the next.